Tropical Storm Lee nears hurricane strength. Expect it to be extremely dangerous hurricane by weekend. It's expected that Lee will continue to rapidly strengthen. It is anticipated that Lee will become a hurricane later, Wednesday. And in a couple of days, a strong hurricane in the center continued. Meteorologists say it's still too early to predict where Lee is heading in the United States. But at the moment, the Windsward Islands, where the Caribbean Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean, to remain vigilant. They could impact the Leeward Thailand this weekend, according to the center. As of 5 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, this center was located about 1.265 miles east-southeast of the northern Leeward Islands, moving west-northwest at a speed of 14 miles per hour, with maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour an increasing speed of 15 miles per hour in just a few hours. Once Lee's maximum sustained wind speed reaches 74 miles per hour, it will be a hurricane. This comes just days after Hurricane Ida wrecked havoc in the southeastern United States. The storm made landfall in Florida on Wednesday, where it destroyed homes and knocked down power lines. It then headed northeast, battering Georgia flooding many beaches in South Carolina and spilling seawater into the streets of downtown Charleston. In North Carolina, Whiteville received over 9 inches of rain, causing flooding in the city center. It then claimed at least two lives, one in Florida and another in Georgia. The question is not about when Lee Adigo's rapid intensification. The recommendations note Wind speeds are forecast to reach 145 miles per hour, making it a powerful Category 4 major hurricane. This is 5 miles per hour faster than the initial NHC report early in the day. The higher wind speed is attributed to above average sea surface temperatures in the area where the storm is expected. The system should be moving over recordable waters is of the Lesser Antilles. Meteorologists say such water temperatures are typically found in the Gulf of Mexico, not the much cooler ocean. Overall picture, according to the current forecast, the storm is moving west-northwestward to the north of the Lesser Antilles, including Puerto Rico. Computer models are nearly unanimous that this storm will become a major Category 4 5 hurricane over the next several days, which a clearer potential for rapid strengthening. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency for much of the Gulf of Mexico coast on Saturday, but meteorologists predicted that a weather system near the Mexican coast could soon become a tropical storm and move into the area. The National Hurricane Center reports a 70% chance that the system will become a tropical storm by Thursday and a 90% chance overall. Another destructive hurricane this season can set the monkey back once again, but by taking the time to fortify our homes and financially prepare, we can make our communities more resilient and help improve the monkey for all Floridians. Subscribe to the channel to get the most popular and important news first.